Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. I'm going to show you guys how to make a sound effect to buttons inside of Roblox Studio. So let's get started. All right, guys. So before we try, thank you guys so much for 1,100 subscribers. I know I haven't uploaded like for a long time. Uh, okay. Maybe you're probably saying, yes, I know I uploaded like maybe a few days ago, but that's okay. What is this? Anyway, so, um, what I was saying that, um, I forgot what I was saying. Okay, so, um, that I uploaded a few days ago, uh, but to be honest, that was a, that video was pre-recorded from literally two weeks ago, guys. So, um, that's why I didn't, there was nothing new in it. So anything, anyway, like, any, like, so anything like that, you get the idea. Uh, and mainly because I've been really busy, semesters are changing in school and everything, and then, um, it's starting to get really confusing on which classes you have now so um yeah i'm still trying to get used to it anyway so uh we're back and uh let's start uh the video anyway so first off uh in this video i'm showing you guys how to add this so every time you click a button it'll make a sound effect so to add that first off you need to make a button that uh instead of started gui instead of screen gui and inside that you want to insert a text button uh, you can name this text button you don't have to anyway once you are done um let me just get my headphones real quick so i can hear it anyway so you have to pick out your song or whatever sound effect so i picked out this it's called sound you can call it whatever you want but if you if i play it real quick yeah i don't know if you heard that but it says it just makes that roblox oof sound thing um anyway that's the best thing i couldn't find like a click sound effect because there's so many memes of it um anyway so once you're done that, you want to go to text button. Uh, wait, no, actually before that, take your sound, uh, make sure it's called whatever you want, and then uh, put it inside the screen GUI just like that. After this last step, you want to insert a local script, and this local script is super small, so I'm not even gonna like time lapse it. But I'm just gonna make a function real quick, and we're gonna call this uh, play uh, play sound. I don't know why I put player. I'm gonna go down to script. And now we're going to define the sound uh, thing, whatever it's called, audio. So we're going to call that sound. And I'm going to do uh, play. Okay, why do I keep doing player? And then after this, we're going to leave this end here. Whoops. And I'm going to go under the end. I'm going to do script.parent. Mouse button, one click. Connect. And then play sound. And that there should do it guys so now let's play the game or test it out and now once we click the button obviously the song itself had a little delay like maybe like one second or so that's why it won't show up exactly but if i click this as you can see i don't know if you guys heard it let me see if i can like notch it up a bit it is at max actually i'm not sure okay and yeah, I'm not sure if this works, guys, but you guys can test it out for yourselves. Hopefully, this works uh, in the future. If it doesn't work, guys, and this is, goes for any other uh, video I've made in the future. For example, if I made a video like last year and now it doesn't work anymore, um, it just basically means the script doesn't work anymore. Because if you look at the comments, guys, from that time, everyone says it does work. But then later on, if it doesn't work, that means the script itself is expired. Because obviously, Lua, the programming language that Roblox uses, is not just some one language. Like, it's it keeps getting updated and um yeah that's why it changes some stuff anyway that's basically it for this uh, video so hopefully you guys did enjoy and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye